In this lesson, we'll discuss different operations that are generally used on a day-to-day -day basis. For instance, how to load the media, how to stop the cutter, and other useful functions and features. Let's start by loading the media. Press pause, press next, press F4 for view. The tool head moves to the upper right corner. When placing the media on the bed, position it so that it's closest to the control panel. That is where the default origin or start point is located. If you are using the vacuum table and are using a smaller sheet, place excess sheets of media to cover the exposed area of the bed. This ensures that you have the most suction on the table. To hold the media, press the pedal on the vacuum system or press the chart hold button on the electrostatic bed. As mentioned in a previous lesson, if you need to move the tool head to a different location to start cutting, there are two steps. First, move the tool head to the new location by pressing and holding the position arrow keys. Since the tool head carries two tools at one time, be aware of which tool is active or current, whether tool holder one or tool holder two, when positioning the tool head. If not, you could be positioning the tool head in the wrong position. This can be especially important when positioning it over a registration mark for the print and cut process. Once again, when initially pressing the key, the tool head moves slowly. To have it move quickly, hold the next key down at the same time and the tool head moves rapidly. There is a useful function that can be used when the tool head ends up somewhere in the middle of the table and you need to move it back to the origin point. Simply hold down the enter and the down arrow keys at the same time. This will return the head back to the origin automatically. Keep in mind that it will not return the tool head back to the lower left corner if the origin has been changed. But this will show where the start point is and if it needs to be adjusted. To change the origin, move the tool using the arrow keys to the new location and press origin on the control panel. As you use the cutter on a day-to-day -day basis, there are two useful functions that are helpful in the operation of the cutter. First is the overlay feature. This option, when enabled for a condition, will cut every line repeatedly that is sent to the cutter when using that condition. This is more for thicker or harder materials where multiple cuts are needed to cut through them. To enable overlay, press pause, press next twice, press F2 for tool condition, press F1 for thick, and then F2 for overlay. In this example, let's enable overlay for condition four. Start by pressing the side arrow keys to move the cursor under condition four, and then press the up arrow key to set the number of repeated cuts for each line for that condition. Press enter to accept the new value, and then pause. The second function, sort, is helpful in cutting each job more efficiently. It does this by sorting the objects in the job when it is sent. There are two methods of sorting a job, which will be explained in a moment. To enable sorting, press pause. Press next twice or until this menu appears. Press F3 for function and then press F4 for sorting. There are three settings to sorting. Pressing the up or down arrow key will loop through the three settings. Off disables sorting. Mode one takes the lines that are assigned to a certain tool number and groups them together. In other words, it groups all the lines and objects assigned to tool holder one, and then groups all the lines and objects that are assigned to tool holder two. It will then cut all the objects assigned to tool holder 1 at the same time. Then it will cut all the objects assigned to tool holder 2 at the same time. This saves the tool head from switching back and forth during the cutting process, increasing the efficiency of the cutting. Mode 2 does exactly as mode 1, except that it will make sure that the cutting condition is done last. For instance, if a job has both cutting and plotting, it will plot with the pen prior to any cutting. 